It is a beautiful drone shot. The kind of video that you might see in a travel video, right? Except it's not real. There is no drone. There is no camera. You can't travel because the video was generated by AI. It's from a new tool just announced a few hours ago by OpenAI called Sora. All it takes is typing in a short text, a prompt, and in minutes it spits out a 60-second video clip of pretty much anything you can imagine. From ChatGPT to Dolly to Sora, Sora is an AI model that can generate realistic and imaginative scenes based on written instructions. OpenAI has embarked on a new adventure to educate AI, to understand and imitate the physical world in motion, with the objective of developing models that assist people in solving challenges requiring real-world interaction. The business introduced Sora, a text-to-video model. Sora can create videos up to a minute long while keeping visual quality and following the user's prompts. AI currently appears to be vying for all CG positions, and it is likely that it will soon take over all stop-motion occupations as well. OpenAI's newest AI model creates videos from prompts, claiming to accurately interpret props and generate compelling characters that express vibrant emotions. However, the tool has been regarded with skepticism and worries that it may be exploited. We need to discuss the risks of the AI model, stated Rachel Toback, a member of the U.S. Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency's CISA Technical Advisory Board, in a post on X. My biggest concern is how this content could be used to trick, manipulate, fish, and confuse the general public, she stated. It's already common knowledge that things can go wrong when AI is applied improperly. Is the emergence of OpenAI Sora a negative development? Keep watching to find out. Red Team members can now use Sora to evaluate important regions for hazards or damages. OpenAI is also providing access to several designers, filmmakers, and visual artists in order to get their input on how to improve the model so that it best serves the needs of creative professions. The company is publishing its research efforts early to start collaborating with and gaining comments from outside OpenAI and to show the public future AI capabilities. OpenAI's tool, named Sora, the Japanese word for sky, is the company's most recent advancement in artificial intelligence, as rivals Google, Meta, and upstart Runway ML are developing comparable models. Sora can create intricate scenes with several actors, distinct motion styles, and precise background and subject details. In addition to comprehending the user's request in the prompt, the model also knows how those items actually exist in the real world. Examples of videos produced using Sora, without modification, were displayed by OpenAI on their website. In one clip, a woman strolling down a rainy Tokyo street seemed incredibly genuine. Her walks confidently and casually, the street is damp and reflective, creating a mirror effect of the colorful lights, and many pedestrians walk about were among the cues. The model's profound linguistic comprehension allows it to reliably decipher cues and produce engrossing characters that vividly convey emotions. Sora can also produce several shots that faithfully maintain the visual style and characters in a single created video. A Dalmatian was shown strolling along windowsills in Burano, Italy, in another example of an AI-generated film. Another instance provided the spectator a tour of an art gallery with many beautiful works of art in different styles. However, the existing model is not without flaws. It may struggle to effectively simulate the physics of a complicated scene and may not comprehend precise examples of cause and effect. For example, a person may take a bite out of a cookie, yet the cookie may not show any biting marks afterwards. The model may also misinterpret spatial aspects of a cue, such as left and right, and struggle with detailed descriptions of actions that occur over time, such as following a specified camera trajectory. However, Sora's artwork is amazing. Another response to the topic, several giant woolly mammoths approach treading through a snowy meadow, 
depicted the extinct beasts near a mountain range, sending up powdered snow as they moved. These elements raise concerns that sword prompts may be used to mislead or deceive in some cases. According to OpenAI, it intends to train the AI models so it can help people solve problems that require real-world interaction. Although multimodal models are not new and text-to-video models already exist, what sets this apart is the length and accuracy that OpenAI claims Sora to have. For now, OpenAI's messaging remains focused on safety. Others raised worries about copyright and privacy. The New York Times sued OpenAI at the end of last year, alleging that it and its largest backer, Microsoft, illegally utilize the newspaper stories to train and develop ChatGPT. The action claims that the AI text model is now competing with the newspaper as a source of accurate information, threatening the organization's capacity to provide such a service. Following the release of Sora, Ed Newton Rex, CEO of nonprofit AI, startup Fairly Trained, stated that these models cannot compete with the content they are trained on or the human producers behind it. What was the model trained on? Did the training data providers agree to their work being used? The complete lack of information from OpenAI on this does not inspire confidence, Ed Newton argued. In a blog post, OpenAI stated that it is working with artists, legislators, and others to ensure the new tool's safety before releasing it to the general public. We're working with red teamers, domain experts in areas like misinformation, hateful content, and bias, who will be adversarially testing the model, the firm stated in a statement. We're also building tools to help detect misleading content, such as a detection classifier that can tell when a video was generated by Sora. OpenAI also stated that it is developing tools to detect deceptive information. Sora will first be made available to cybersecurity professors, known as Red Teamers, who will evaluate the product for potential injuries or hazards. It is also giving access to a number of visual artists, designers, and filmmakers so that they may provide comments on how creative professions can use it. It is actually a great deal sticking around until this point. And that concludes today's video. Do let us know what you think about today's discussion in the comments section below. And you can support this channel by liking this video. Subscribe and activate the bell notification feature so you'd always know when we put out new content. And remember, sharing is caring. Take care and see you in the next video.